The gods in the divine realm are hypocritical, and evil spirits dominate the world. The beast and human races are all grass mustard. Su Yu walked from the mortal world, stepping on countless evil bones and ascending to the highest divine throne. The cold ice seals the false gods, and the emperor seals all sentient beings. A peerless Tang clan colleague, do not enter unless you like, PS1. Don't lick Tang San, don't lick Hui Yu Hao, don't be the protagonist's nanny PS2. The settings are taken from Do 1 to 3, with the addition of the Legend of the Divine Realm, and do not use Do for settings PS3. There are already D Do 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 Old author, quality guaranteed, not eunuch, guaranteed, please rest assured to continue reading. Keywords of the novel Dolua 2 The Lord of the Gods Without a Pop Dot Up Window, Dolua 2 The Lord of the Gods Download the complete text, Dolua 2 The latest chapter of The Lord of the Gods Chapter 1 Longu Infant You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Longu Infant Dolua Continent, An Unknown Valley In the sky, Colorful clouds float one after another, and above the ground, there are towering skeletons. These skeletons emit an ancient and ancient aura, as if from ancient times. Although only the skeleton remains, the noble and domineering aura is still clear. Woo! Wow! Suddenly, in this silent valley, a cry of a baby rang out. Where the sound came from, a rainbow of light shot straight into the sky. In an instant, the entire valley erupted into a riot. In the sky, countless colorful clouds rushed towards the colorful and splendid place at the same time, rushing wildly. Red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, black, gold, and other colors of clouds rushed forward in unison. And the skeleton, which originally stood quietly in the valley, seemed to have come to life. The deep dragon chants echoed through the entire valley one after another. And in the deepest part of the valley, there is also an incredibly brilliant nine-colored brilliance blooming. Two colorful lights, as if echoing each other, each becoming brighter and brighter. I don't know how long it has been. Buzz. Suddenly, a buzzing sound sounded. The space above the valley suddenly cracks open, forming a pitch-black spatial crack. Subsequently, silver light shone and a silver figure quietly emerged from the cracks in the space. A silver figure stood in the void, wearing a silver long dress with a silver veil covering her face. Her long silver hair hung straight down her waist. Looking at the valley that was already engulfed in riots at this moment, the silver figure's gaze shifted slightly and fell onto the place where countless colorful clouds surged wildly. Suddenly, the incredibly brilliant nine-colored radiance came into view. She was completely stunned, with a hint of shock flashing in her purple eyes. She quickly extended her right hand, her snow-dot-white and soft catkin like the most exquisite jade, flawless and flawless. I saw her lightly move and the nine-colored radiance fell into her hands. With a slight glance, it turned out to be a baby who was not yet full moon. Subsequently, her beautiful eyes condensed, feeling the incredibly familiar yet powerful force. Under her veil, her jade face slightly changed color, and in disbelief, a hint of indescribable joy was revealed. She turned her head and suddenly looked into the depths of the valley, where the shimmering nine-colored light seemed to be telling something. Her beautiful eyes changed, and her gaze became firm. She glanced again at the countless tall skeletons below, with a hint of sadness in her expression. A flash of hatred flashed through her eyes, as she held the baby in her body was just a flash, sinking into the cracks of space and disappearing. As the two of them left, the valley that was once tumultuous gradually regained its previous calmness. Heavenly Soul Empire A remote place near the starry forest is home to a small town. The small town is not bustling and cannot compare to the main cities and big cities. Most of the people living in the small town are ordinary people, 
with few nobles. In the northwest corner of the small town, there is a piece of house, which is a residential area for many civilians. Breath. Breath. In the alley, there were heavy gasps of breath. I saw a child around six years old, holding a heavy cauldron, running in the alley. Under the big cauldron, the child's figure appeared quite small, but he held the cauldron so firmly that even adults could not shake it, running with firm steps. Every step he took was steady, and after running, he left clear footprints on the alleyway. Squeak. Bang. After running a few laps, the child stopped in front of a courtyard. The tightly closed door was kicked open and collided with the wall, making a loud bang. The child held up the cauldron, lifted his leg and walked towards the door. In front of an open space, he put down the large cauldron in his hand. After the big cauldron landed, it made a muffled sound, as if even the earth had been shaken, indicating its heaviness. I'm so tired. Suyu murmured and wiped away the sweat from his forehead. His small face turned red. This cauldron weighs over a thousand pounds, which ordinary adults cannot shake. Although he was born with divine power, he held a cauldron and ran around the alley four or five times, which was also extremely physically exhausting. Go take a shower first, Uncle Tian and Aunt Bai will be coming soon. Su Yu murmured to himself, then walked straight into the room with his short legs. Ignoring the sweat all over his body, he burned a pot of hot water on his own and then took a warm bath. After rinsing with warm water, he picked up a basin of cold water and directly flushed it all over his head, feeling refreshed and refreshed. After wiping it clean and changing into clean clothes, Suyu felt like he had completely come to life. In the kitchen, Suyu found a fruit in his mouth and leaned against the door, feeling bored. In his pair of shiny black eyes, there were a few strands of composure and wisdom that did not match his age. Six years have passed, and before I knew it, I had been on this Dolua continent for six years. Su Yu sighed in his heart. Yes, he is not a native of Dolua continent, but has traveled through time. Moreover, it is still a physical journey. Similar to the kind of rejuvenation. Dolua continent is completely different from his previous world. This is a place where the truly strong are respected. The strong have everything, while the weak can only crawl and be slaughtered by others. Without strong strength, it is impossible to control one's own destiny. The worst part is that this is still the Doe Air time period. If it were the Doe E time period, perhaps it would still be better. Su Yu shook his head secretly. During the Doe Air period, there are all kinds of demons and monsters and even more so, there are divine kings who hold high and control the fate of all beings. During the Dee period, although it was also chaotic, at least there were no evil soul masters flooding everywhere. More or less, there can also be more guarantees. Moreover, during the Do'er period, it is quite difficult to stand out without sufficient background and identity. It is even more difficult for ordinary people to have a noble son than 10,000 years ago. Uncle Tian and his team will come over and take me to awaken my martial soul later, but as a traveler, where did I get my martial soul? There was a hint of worry in Su Yu's eyes. People from Dolua continent, regardless of their talent or soul power, will definitely have a martial soul. But he's a traveler, where did he get his martial soul? And if there is no martial soul, how should he establish himself in this world where martial soul is king? Do you rely on his innate divine power? Although he doesn't know why he was born with incredible strength, no matter how strong his strength is, without a martial soul, it will eventually be difficult for him to ascend to the Hall of Elegance. And although he has great strength, he has not really reached the level of breaking 10,000 laws with one force. Not to mention Soul Master, even if he encounters a slightly stronger great Soul Master, he will kneel down. Strong strength doesn't necessarily mean strong combat effectiveness. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. First check in, The Secret to the Gods. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 First check in, The Secret to the Gods, after all, strength is just one factor that determines combat effectiveness. 
In the Doloa continent, what determines the level of combat power is more about the strength of the martial soul and the cultivation of soul power. If only there could be a system. Su Yu took a big bite of the fruit and thought to himself. He is a time traveler, it's really difficult to play without a golden finger. Especially in this world of gods and ghosts, without strength, it can be said that it is difficult to move forward. Ding, it has been detected that the host is about to awaken their martial soul, and the system has officially started. Just as Su Yu was still feeling regretful, a cold voice suddenly rang out in his mind, shaking him whole and throwing the fruit out of his hand. Sleeping slot. Su Yu couldn't help but burst out in a foul language, with a surprised expression on his face. System. Host, I'm here. The cold voice slowly echoed, bringing Su Yu, who was originally somewhat unbelievable, back to his senses completely. I'll go, it's really a system. I knew it. How could I, as a traveler, not have a golden finger? This outrageous wealth finally falls on me, Su. Su Yu laughed heartily, and the little concern about the future was instantly dispelled. After not being reckless for too long, Su Yu quickly tidied up his mood and asked, System, what are your functions? Do tasks or brush achievements? Or can you just lie flat and get the reward? Su Yu's eyes lit up and he asked the system. As a real bookworm, he has read many online novels in his past life. Regarding the system, of course he is Menchim. Of course, his favorite system is still one where he can lie flat or simply choose to receive rewards. No reason, easy. Lying down can make you stronger, it's simply a blessing for lazy people. This system is called the strongest check-in system, and as long as the host insists on checking in every day, they can receive rewards. At the same time, the system also has weekly, monthly, annual, and annual clock-ins, providing even more generous rewards. However, the host must adhere to daily clock-ins without interruption, and once interrupted, they will start counting from scratch. The system also comes with a random clock-in task function, and sometimes random tasks are issued to allow the host to clock in at a designated location. If the clock in is successful, they will receive rich rewards. I understand. Su Yu nodded and gained a general understanding of the system's functions. He also knows about clock in systems. What rewards can you get? Su Yu asked. This is also a concern for him. Rewards cover various fields, and the system has everything the host wants. Is it really fake? So arrogant. How about a drop of Pangva's essence and blood to see your strength? Su Yu is skeptical and skeptical. System. Dot. You don't have it, do you? Su Yu's eyes rolled and he said, then you can have double pupils or a supreme bone. Having multiple bones and paths, having more eyes makes walking easier. System. Dot. Host, do you think these things are suitable to appear in Dolua continent? Hmm also, these things appearing on the Dolua continent are indeed somewhat superclass. After all, in the recognized world of floor tiles, the appearance of these things seems a bit excessive. After some thought, so you no longer teased the system. He smiled and asked, System, since you have officially started, can I start checking in now? Sure. Okay then clock in. Ding, congratulations to the host for completing their first check that I n distributing rewards. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the technique Jishin Ju. Dot. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining a super sect card. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining 10 million golden soul coins. The mechanical and cold sound of the system kept ringing, which made Su Yu couldn't help but feel refreshed. The ultimate divine technique is a practice of Qigong, which is sacred and magnificent, with a moderate and peaceful nature. It is divided into 18 levels, each with unique abilities, vast and profound, and infinite mysteries. Super Sect Card Using this card, you can obtain an entire super sect out of thin air, with its power strength comparable to local superpowers. 
10 million gold soul coins. Looking at the introduction of the system, Su Yu's gaze flickered slightly. A skill, a superpower. He is not quite sure how strong the technique of Zhi Shen Ju is. But looking at this introduction, at least it is much stronger than Xian Tian Gong. Xian Tian Gong doesn't have as many special abilities as the ultimate divine technique. This cultivation method is undoubtedly extremely applicable to him now. As for the Super Sect card, it is also an extremely precious treasure. During the Dou Air period, in the human world, there were superpowers that could be called Shrek Academy, Ontology Sect, Houtian Sect, Mingda Church, Holy Spirit Sect, and so on. This Super Sect card undoubtedly gave Suyu a top dot notch background. You should know that during this Dou Air period, there is no deep background behind, and it is not easy to intervene in the world's affairs. With the support of the Super Sect, Suyu had the capital to become a chess player, rather than being forced to follow the crowd and be at the mercy of others. As for the Golden Soul coin, there is no need to mention it again. Everything goes smoothly with money, but without it, it's difficult to move forward. The importance of money never needs to be doubted. Having received so many valuable rewards, Suyu was naturally filled with joy, but his brow still furrowed slightly. System, why don't you have a martial soul? Without a martial soul, even if given more things, it would be useless. Influenced by the rules of Dolua Continent, to become stronger, one needs a soul ring. Otherwise, even if the cultivation reaches a bottleneck, it cannot be broken through. Not to mention, he has no martial soul at all. Without a martial soul, even if there is a cultivation method, it is not very useful. The host already has a martial soul. Su Yu. What are you saying? Su Yu looked shocked and said, Do you think I have a martial soul? He is a traveler, how could he have a martial soul? Did you do it? Su Yu's thoughts were spinning, as if he had thought of something. After all, what the system said before was formal startup, not binding to the host. Does that mean that this system has already bound him? The host can also understand it that way. The system says. Su Yu. Dot. Okay, thank you then. Although I don't know why you bound me, thank you all the same. After a while, Su Yu let out a long breath and said. He never considered himself a traveler, just how remarkable he was. If there is no system, it is really difficult for him to establish himself, especially when there are people watching in the divine realm. Without a system, it is too difficult for him to achieve great success. For the system, he is truly grateful from the bottom of his heart. As for conspiracy theories, he never thought about it, nor did he have the need to think about it. Even if there is really a conspiracy in the system, what can be done? Anyway, they are all powerless, so why bother others? End of this chapter Chapter 3 Awakening of Martial Souls and Giant Earthquakes in the Continent You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 3 Awakening of Martial Souls and Giant Earthquakes in the Continent The system did not respond to Su Yu's gratitude. I don't know if it was shyness or something, but the system fell silent from then on. Su Yu did not continue to ask, but took a new fruit from the kitchen and nibbled on it. The worries in his heart were dispelled, and the future was promising. Su Yu was in a great mood. I only feel that the fruit in my hand is particularly sweet and fragrant. At the same time, Su Yu also received rewards from the system. Start preparing to learn the technique of, the ultimate divine technique. Without looking or knowing, Su Yu's heart and mind were shaken at a glance. This martial art is much more powerful than Su Yu had imagined. If according to the cultivation method, the first nine levels can roughly correspond to the soul master to the title Doluo. Starting from the tenth level, we have broken through into the realm of God. Later on, it became even more mystical, even deviating from the scope of martial arts techniques. Good thing. Suyu sighed and, after nibbling on the fruit, quickly followed the path in his mind to start practicing. This is the benefit of the system. 
The reward techniques can be practiced smoothly even by an outsider who has never been exposed to cultivation. Quickly, after meditating for a whole week, little internal forces began to emerge from Su Yu's body. Su Yu's physical fitness is very good, with very few impurities in his body and unobstructed meridians. After all, he has always eaten good food since childhood. Of course, all of this was brought to him by Uncle Tian. Every time he finished eating these things, he felt warm and comfortable in his body. He guessed that those things were probably very precious natural resources and treasures. Nowadays, when it comes to cultivation, the advantages brought by this good foundation have been fully demonstrated. First time practicing, I feel very good. Feeling warm currents flowing into his limbs, so you only felt the taste of cultivation, which was truly wonderful. Quickly, an hour passed like this. Just as Su Yu was lost in his cultivation, the sound of footsteps gradually came from outside the door. The sound of footsteps becomes clearer from far to near. If it were Su Yu from before, perhaps he might not be able to feel it. But now Su Yu can hear very clearly. Su Yu woke up from his meditative state, clapped his hands and stood up. At this moment, Footsteps stopped and two figures appeared outside the door. Two figures, one male and one female. The man is tall and about two meters tall. He is dressed in black and has a majestic face, exuding great authority. A head of black hair draped over the shoulders, with a strand of golden hair in it, quite peculiar. But the woman was dressed in a water green long skirt, with fair skin, soft appearance, delicate figure, exuding a kind and gentle temperament. Seeing these two people, Su Yu's gaze suddenly brightened and he exclaimed in surprise, Uncle Tian, Aunt Bai. The two of them walked into the courtyard. The gentle woman, known as Bai Yi, showed a soft smile and took two steps forward. Her delicate jade hands were placed on Su Yu's head. You are, wait a long time. The gentle woman rubbed Su Yu's hair and said with a smile, no, I just finished exercising for a while. Su Yu smiled and said. Since his travels, the two people in front of him have been taking care of him. In his heart, he had already regarded them as relatives. Although he may also be able to guess some extraordinary origins of the two, it's not important. He only knows that he was raised by them. The grace of nurturing is greater than heaven. Have you eaten your meal? The woman smiled and asked. I have already eaten it. Su Yu nodded and said. Two fruits for breakfast are enough. Since we have already eaten, let's start today's business. You're already six years old, it's time to awaken your martial soul. Follow me. The man, known as Tian Shu, said to Su Yu and then turned his head and walked towards the door. Su Yu quickly caught up. The three of them left the door and quickly turned out of the alley. This is too slow. As Tian Shu spoke, he held Su Yu with one hand and his body transformed into a gust of wind, instantly disappearing from view. In just a moment, the three of them left the city and arrived at a deserted valley. Considering that your awakening of the martial soul may cause some movement, I specifically found a remote place. Uncle Tian said as if explaining. Oh, oh. Su Yu scratched his head to show understanding. Tian Shu glanced at Su Yu, then a flash of light flashed in his hand, and he took out six golden stones. After arranging the six stones, Tian Shu's fingerprint changed and a golden six pointed star formation suddenly appeared. In the star formation, mysterious patterns are densely distributed, as if carrying a trace of wonderful power. Enter the formation. Uncle Tian's voice rang out. Su Yu quickly followed suit and walked into the formation. In the next moment, Tian Shu exuded an astonishing aura, and behind him, there seemed to be a black dragon hovering. The black dragon had a pair of golden eyes, carrying a heart-wrenching majesty. Get up! Accompanied by Tian Shu's clear drink, the six-pointed star array shone brightly, transforming into a golden light shield that completely enveloped Su Yu. A little bit of golden light penetrated into Su Yu's body, 
as if awakening his dormant power at the deepest part of his body. I don't know what my martial soul will be. Su Yu thought to himself. Quickly, accompanied by a little golden light, it disappeared into Su Yu's body, and finally, as if something had been startled. On Su Yu's body, an incredibly brilliant nine-colored light bloomed. A square object was suspended above Su Yu's right hand, and an ancient and majestic force seemed to come from the ancient times. Above this object, there is a nine-colored giant dragon surrounding it, which is incredibly majestic and prestigious. No matter how gorgeous the words are, they cannot describe its greatness. As soon as it appeared, it carried a powerful aura that dominated the eight wildernesses. Between heaven and earth, there is a sudden change in wind and clouds, and a phantom nine-colored dragon hovers around the object. After a moment, it soars straight into the sky. On. A resounding dragon cry echoed through the sky, causing a huge change in the continent in an instant. At the same time, the soul beasts in the major soul beast forests seemed to sense something and all crawled on the ground, trembling. Even those high dot level soul beasts are causing waves of commotion. And among humanity, the unparalleled powerhouses also have puzzled eyes and a strange expression on their faces. Shrek Academy, Sea God Pavilion an old man lying on a lounge chair unconsciously stood up. Then the golden light shone brightly, and a white giant dragon appeared in the sky, emitting a loud dragon chant. The endless power of light enveloped the entire sea god island. The heavenly soul empire is an unknown place. The sky and earth seemed to suddenly darken, and a low yet majestic sound of dragon chants rang out. In the depths of the starry forest, a silver-white figure quietly opened its eyes, revealing a pair of mysterious and noble purple pupils. Have you already awakened? In the darkness, a soft murmur slowly came from, end of this chapter. Chapter 4 Dragon God Seal, Uncle Tian's Excitement You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Dragon God Seal, Uncle Tian's Excitement in the Valley countless colorful lights spread around Su Yu as the center. In no time, the entire valley was enveloped in colorful radiance. Not far from Su Yu, the gentle woman in a water-green robe seemed quite uncomfortable. A pair of watery eyes, flickering slightly, gentle yet with a hint of awe. The man in black beside her reacted even more violently. His body trembled slightly, and there was an indescribable excitement on his strong and majestic face. He clenched his hands into fists, squeezing his fingers until they turned white. He felt the absolute pressure of his position, like a heavenly power. However, his golden eyes were filled with a fervent expression. The flowing blood in his body sends waves of submission, and with his strength, he could have suppressed this impulse. But he knelt down on one knee, his once proud head lowered, and he completely chose to obey. Seeing such a gesture, the gentle woman beside him suddenly changed her appearance. However, looking at the man in black, she bit her lip, hesitated for a moment, and surprisingly knelt down as well. Su Yu, who was enveloped by the nine-colored light, was completely unaware of the outside world. He only felt a stream of heat rolling back and forth in his body, which was extremely comfortable. The internal power that was originally generated after practicing the ultimate divine technique is only a small amount. But at this moment it was like merging into a stream, giving him a overflowing feeling. He seemed to feel a bottleneck blocking him, but he couldn't make it through. Is this the innate soul power brought by the martial soul? Am I feeling like I have innate soul power? Su Yu thought to himself. Quickly, with the complete awakening of the martial soul, the illusion between heaven and earth gradually disappeared. Above Su Yu's right hand, the square object gradually revealed its true appearance. This object is about 15 centimeters wide and about the same height. The whole body is made of nine colored gold, and above it, there is a carved nine colored giant dragon. Just looking at it, there is a sense of suppressing the world. Noble, mysterious, ancient, majestic, sacred. Not like anything else. 
The object is surrounded by illusory dragon shadows, forming a brilliant halo of nine colors. Looking at this matter, Suyu was surprised. Isn't this the seal? Seals are objects that showcase one's identity, and have been extremely precious throughout history. Even powerful seals can suppress a country's fortune. The seal in Su Yu's hand was not an ordinary thing at first glance. The nine-colored dragon shadow constantly stirred Su Yu's brain and nerves. This thing seems to have a big impact. Nine colors, giant dragons, yet incredibly noble, hiss. After all, he is a traveler, and there are some things that he cannot guess. This thing is a bit amazing, but how come I feel like I haven't finished it yet? Suyu furrowed his brows and couldn't figure it out. His martial soul has awakened, but there is still a feeling in his heart that it is not over. Moreover, there seemed to be an inexplicable feeling reminding him to go north. Underneath his heart, Suyu secretly guessed that he had also walked out of the formation. Without the obstruction of the formation, Suyu immediately saw the two people kneeling on one knee. Uncle Tian, Aunt Bai, what are you doing here? Suyu quickly stepped forward and prepared to help the two, but just then, the man in black stood up on his own. Suyu had no choice but to support the gentlewoman with one hand and make her stand up. Let me take a look at the martial soul. Before Suyu could ask a question, Uncle spoke up that day. Su Yudong was about to extend his right hand, and on the palm of his right hand, a seal shone brightly. Uncle Tian reached out to touch, but as soon as he reached out, he seemed to remember something and then withdrew. A pair of imposing golden eyes stared tightly at the nine-colored seal, trembling slightly as he couldn't help but murmur softly, the power of the dragon god, indeed. Although his voice was light, the three of them were so close together, and coupled with the fact that it is not as before, how could Su Yu not hear him? In the pitch black pupils, a hint of brilliance flashed through, and he thought to himself, sure enough. Uncle Tian, do you know what kind of martial soul this is? Su Yu scratched his head and asked. This martial soul should be unprecedented. Let's call it the Dragon God Seal. After a moment of silence, Tian Shu sighed and said. The Dragon God Seal, the Dragon God Seal, sounds quite good. Su Yu grinned and said. Child, let's test your soul power. At this moment, the gentlewoman beside smiled. Okay, Aunt Bai. Su Yu responded and looked at the crystal ball in the gentlewoman's hand. He placed his right hand on it, and suddenly, the entire crystal ball shone brightly. Innate full soul power. The gentlewoman's beautiful eyes lit up and she smiled. Is it indeed innate full soul power? Suyu smiled at the corner of his mouth, quite satisfied. Humph, innate full soul power is nothing, if not. The man in black snorted and stopped halfway through the conversation. However, judging from his appearance, it seems that he disdains the so dot called innate full soul power, as if this martial soul should have higher soul power. But in the face of Su Yu's curious gaze, he finally didn't speak again. Instead, his voice changed and he said, Since you are born with full soul power, why don't you come with us to the star forest and add a suitable soul ring for you? But Uncle Tian, it seems that I still have a martial soul. Su Yu scratched his hair and said. What did you say? The gentlewoman was taken aback, while Uncle Tian exclaimed in surprise. How could this be possible? What martial soul can twin with the dragon god seal? This is absolutely impossible. Uncle Tian's face was full of disbelief, as if this matter was impossible at all. But there's a feeling in the dark that tells me, I really do have a martial soul. Su so Yu said softly. That kind of unfinished feeling is very clear and cannot deceive people. And that sense of guidance in the heart is very strong. This shouldn't be, what is your second martial soul? Uncle Tian frowned and asked, looking puzzled. Obviously, this scene exceeded his expectations. I don't know, but there's always a voice in my heart urging me to go north. Su Yu answered truthfully. Heading north. 
Uncle Tian's eyebrows are becoming increasingly furrowed, why does this matter seem to be becoming increasingly bizarre? However, he didn't doubt it. Instead, he said to the woman, Abi, wait at home. I'll take you or on a trip to the north. Okay. The gentlewoman responded and turned around to leave. On this side, Tian Shu grabbed Su Yu into his arms and plundered towards the northern part of the Heavenly Soul Empire. Uncle Tian's speed is not bad, and along the way, Su Yu couldn't even see the surrounding scenery clearly. Everything seems to have been transformed into a hazy blur by extremely fast speed. The outside wind howled and made a sound, so fast that the strong wind it brought was enough to tear apart the pig iron. But Su Yu, being in the arms of Tian Shu, didn't even feel any discomfort. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Lingtong Realm, Endless Destiny You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Lingtong Realm, Endless Destiny Uncle Tian's strength is surprisingly formidable. The Dragon God Seal, I actually carry the power of the Dragon God. No wonder Uncle Tian and Aunt Bai have taken care of me since childhood and treated me so well. Hiding in Uncle Tian's arms, Su Yu's thoughts surged in his heart. Uncle Tian, Aunt Bai, Golden Pupils, Green Skirt. They are also rare super powerhouses. With so many prominent features, if he still can't guess their identities, it's better to just hang themselves with a rope. He actually knew it a long time ago, but he has always been a bit puzzled. He is a human and a traveler, there is no reason why these two would treat him so well. You should know that he has eaten many good things all along. However, after awakening his martial soul today, he suddenly realized. Perhaps all of this is related to the power of the dragon god on him. As for the specific situation, he couldn't guess, but what is certain is that it is probably related to the system. The power of the dragon god, TSK, it seems that we won't be able to calm down in the future. So you let out a click in his heart. With the power of the dragon god, his future is bound to fluctuate, and it may be impossible for him to live a comfortable life. However, it's also good that he didn't travel here to live a comfortable life. When there are no conditions, he can only hibernate. Now with the help of the system, if he doesn't have any ambition in his heart, how can it be? Who doesn't want to lie on the knee of a beautiful woman drunk and wake up to control the world? How could he not want to become the unparalleled ruler of the world? System, do you have any information panels or similar? Yes, host. Then open it and take a look. Ding, the host information panel is as follows. Host. Su Yu H. Six years old martial soul. Dragon God Seal, unawakened level. Congenital full soul power soul. 372, Lingtong Realm, Destiny. Endless Destiny Technique. Ultimate Divine Technique Soul Ring. None Soul Bone. None skill. None item. None golden soul coin. Ten million status. Novice protection in progress a very rudimentary panel, but after all, it's just starting out, which is quite normal. No soul rings, no soul bones, no skills, no items, TSK, for knots. Su Yu sneered inwardly, his mind staring at the panel. Oh, how could my mental strength be so high? Su Yu was surprised by the spiritual power of the spiritual realm, which was as high as 372, which greatly surprised him. The classification of spiritual power is roughly Lingyuan realm, Lingtong realm, Linghai realm, Lingyuan realm, and Xinyuan realm. Lingyuan realm, 0.100, Lingtong realm, 100.500, Linghai realm, 500.5000, Lingyuan realm. 5000.2000, Lingyu Realm, 20000.5000, as for Xinyuan Realm, it is over 50,000. Generally speaking, human birth is the spiritual power of the spiritual realm. And soul masters, great soul masters, are generally around the Lingyuan Realm. 
Only by reaching the Soul Lord can one reach the spiritual power of the spiritual realm. When Do San Tang Wu Lin first took the first soul ring, the value was only 38, which is also the spiritual power of the spiritual element realm. And Su Yu's spiritual power is as high as 372, almost reaching the advanced level of the spiritual realm. This is the spiritual power that soul sects and even soul kings may possess. It can be said that it is not strong. Not only am I born with divine power, but with just one slap, I have thousands of nearly tens of thousands of pounds of strength. Now my spiritual power is also so high, which is probably not accidental. Su Yu pondered in his heart, wondering if something had happened that he didn't know. Or did he get some opportunities that he didn't even know about himself? Otherwise, it is impossible to explain his current situation. With doubts in mind, he continued to look down and was stunned when he saw the section on destiny. Endless destiny, what is this? He finally couldn't help but ask the system in his heart. The endless destiny represents that the host has an added destiny, the system explained. That means what kind of son of fate, world, era, and so on am I? About the same. That means I am the son of the world in the current Doloa continent world, can I understand it this way? Sure. What about Hui Yu Hao? Isn't he the son of luck? Su Yu asked. The host is the first sequence, and Hui Yu Hao retreats. So that means I have replaced the position favored by Hui Yu Hao's heaven and earth. Hui Yu Hao ranks behind me. Almost. The mechanical sound of the system slowly came in after a while. I have replaced Hui Yu Hao's position, doesn't that mean Hua Gua will become Su Gua in the future? Su Yu couldn't help but laugh in his heart, but as he smiled, something suddenly came to his mind and his face changed greatly. Hui Yu Hao was originally targeted by a certain divine king, but now that I have taken over his position, doesn't it mean that the person targeted by a certain divine king has become me? Not good, Tang San Chong, I'm here. Su Yuji's expression was shocked. Being targeted by a certain divine king is not a good thing. Hui Yu Hao's experience in the original work is truly tragic. Those who were taken away by a certain divine king were eventually successfully tamed. Now, is he going to become the one who was taken for a walk? I lost it. Su Yu felt a sense of urgency in his heart, he didn't want to be taken for a walk. The host doesn't have to worry. Nowadays, the host is in a novice protection period, in the divine realm, and no one can discover the host or anything related to it. At this point, the system produces a sound channel. Novice protection in progress. Su Yu breathed a sigh of relief, not that he was afraid of a certain divine king, but that he was too weak now. If he could wait until he developed, there was no need to be too afraid. How long can the novice protection period last? Su Yu asked about this topic of concern. About five years. The system replied. Su Yu. Time is still not enough, five years is too short. It seems that we still need to prepare a response plan earlier. Su Yu thought that in the original work, various related threads were presented in his mind. He is reminiscing about how Hui Yu Hao, the original author, was taken for a walk, and he needs to draw some experience from it. While Su Yu was pondering, Tian Shu had already gradually arrived at the northern part of the Heavenly Soul Empire with Su Yu. As we approached the northern part of the Heavenly Soul Empire, the temperature around us began to gradually decrease. The cold air gradually blows in, and white mist exhales from the tip of the nose, instantly turning into ice, indicating the low temperature. At this moment, Uncle Tian stopped and withdrew his soul power protection. Without Tian Shu's soul power protection, the cold air struck, and Su Yu suddenly shuddered. Hiss, it's so cold. Su Yu rubbed his hands. He was still wearing a single coat, but the temperature here was at least minus zero. The cold wind was really strong enough to blow. Do you feel anything? Uncle Tian lowered his head and asked Su Yu. We still need to go north. Su Yu followed the induction and said. T. 
Tian Shu frowned and said, if we go further north, it will be the Arctic ice field. To awaken in the icy and snowy world, is it possible that your martial soul has an ice attribute? Uncle Tian guessed. After listing, there will be no information panel in the main text. I will open a free single chapter or directly put the protagonist's information panel in the author's words, which will not waste everyone's money. Everyone can rest assured. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Arctic Ice Sheet You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Arctic Ice Sheet, well. Maybe, I don't know either. Suyu chuckled and said. How could he possibly know what the next martial soul would be? Upon hearing Su Yu's words, Tian Shu nodded and said, Since that's the case, let's continue moving towards the far north. After speaking, looking at Su Yu's rosy little face, he raised his eyebrows and said, It's very cold. It's pretty good. Su Yu grinned, although he had not yet entered the far north, the temperature here was already comparable to pouring water into ice. Ordinary people, even wearing cotton jackets, may feel a piercing cold. But Su Yu's physical fitness is different from that of ordinary people, and he also has sole power to protect himself. He can still withstand this temperature now. That's not possible. The temperature in the far north is much lower than here. That place is not where you are now, you are qualified to step on it. The cold there is enough to take your life. Put on this leather jacket, although I can protect you with soul power, if something really happens, I may not care about you. The land of the extreme north also has its own heritage. At that time, without my soul power protection, the extreme cold and low temperature can take your life. Uncle Tian is quite serious and authentic. For the far north, it seems that even he dare not underestimate it. Speaking, Uncle Tian took out a fiery red leather jacket and handed it to Su Yu. The leather jacket is very exquisite, like a work of art. The fiery red hair shone brightly, emitting a warm sensation. Su Yu took the leather jacket and directly draped it over his body, wrapping it all over his body. It's strange to say that the originally large leather jacket, when worn by Su Yu, fits perfectly and is not bulky at all. Then he tied up his clothes, and Su Yu felt a warm and comfortable place all over his body. The cold air outside seemed to be completely isolated by this fur coat, with no cold current flowing in through the cracks. Even if Su Yudang knew, this thing might be worth a lot. At least this quality must be made of fire a tribute soul beast fur that has been around for over 10,000 years. But what Su Yu didn't know was that the value of this thing was even higher than he thought. This is not the fur of a mere eternal soul beast. Let's go. Seeing that Su Yu had put on his clothes, Tian Shu nodded slightly and led Su Yu north. After only a short walk, a vast expanse of snow. White came into view. Looking up, there was a vast expanse of white everywhere, and the two of them walked on the snow, making creaking noises. That's the sound of the soul stepping on the snow. Formally entering the Arctic region, the temperature has become even lower. The snow on the ground gradually became as deep as his knees as Su Yu and his companions continued to move forward. Roughly estimated, the two of them had already walked for more than half a day, and now they have penetrated more than 200 miles into the far north. Along the way, I also encountered soul beasts, but they were all casually sent away by Uncle Tian. With another slap, Tian Shu flew an ice bear that was over 10 meters tall. He looked down at Su Yu and asked, How do you feel now? The induction is becoming clearer, and our endpoint seems to be at the deepest point. Su Yu pointed deep and said, The core area of the Arctic region. A glimmer of essence flashed in Uncle Tian's golden eyes, and surprisingly it was at the innermost part. With a slight movement of his gaze, Uncle Tian pondered for a moment and said, Since we have sensed the specific location, don't waste your time. Go straight to the deepest part. After speaking, Tian Shu hugged Su Yu and went straight through the air. This is really lightning fast. Everything around me instantly blurs, and the sound of the wind comes in. 
In less than fifteen minutes, Uncle Tian stopped. Su Yu poked his head out to the outside world and saw that the light in this place was twisted. Above the sky, there is a brilliant rainbow halo. Above the ground, the snowflakes are hard, and the cold wind blows, only layers of ice powder can be seen flying in the sky. This is already the core area of the Arctic, do you feel it? Uncle Tian asked. Suyu nodded and jumped out of Uncle Tian's arms. The feeling in my heart is unprecedentedly clear. Blessed to the soul, he looked up at the sky. And at the moment he looked up, the situation suddenly changed. In the sky, a dazzling ice blue glow suddenly appeared, and the originally blurred and twisted halo became instantly clear. The layers of ice powder that covered the sky were scattered by an invisible force, and the blue sky was like a clear treasure realm. Subsequently, a deep vortex appeared in the sky, and the power of heaven and earth fluctuated violently at this moment, covering hundreds of miles under the power of heaven. Uncle Tian suddenly regained his energy and gazed solemnly at everything around him. In the sky, with roaring sounds and howling winds, there is an immensely brilliant radiance brewing within the deep vortex. Finally, an icy blue light shot out directly from the vortex and landed on Su Yu's forehead. A cold blue light, from Su Yume's heart to the sky, pierced through heaven and earth. A powerful magnetic field suddenly burst out, enveloping Su Yu for hundreds of meters with an ice blue light shield. Even Tian Shu was forcibly pushed away by this force. The supreme and majestic aura, like the power of heaven, made Uncle Tian's expression change. How could the world's will be? Uncle Tian kept murmuring that there were not many forces in this world that he feared. And just now, that heavenly power, even he, was about to crawl. That is not personal strength, but the true power of heaven and earth. It is the true power that belongs to the entire Dolua continent. Perhaps. Uncle Tian stared at this spectacular scene with bright eyes and had some speculations in his heart. Hmm. Suddenly, Uncle Tian frowned and looked ahead, with endless darkness filling his back. From the distant sky in the north, a layer of emerald green light instantly spread over. Along with it came a fierce and wild cold breath. Humph. Tian Shu let out a cold snort, stirring up snowflakes hundreds of meters high, with an imposing force that shook into the distance. On the ground, layers of snowflakes were swept by the momentum, and ice and sand filled the sky. Is it you, Emperor Tian? A crisp sound came from afar, but the originally fierce and wild momentum had weakened significantly. It seems that an imperceptible fear can be detected from the sound. Buzz. Accompanied by a buzzing sound, the sky became a emerald green, and a bright green light brought a bright wave of light in the sky. Just a flash of blue light, a soul beast appeared in front of Uncle Tian. This soul beast is not very large in size, but it is very delicate and beautiful. It is just a scorpion, but it is an extremely beautiful scorpion. Scorpion and beauty may seem out of place, but at this moment, they are vividly appearing before our eyes. End of this chapter Chapter 7 The Two Emperors of Ice and Snow, Blessed by Heaven and Earth You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 The Two Emperors of Ice and Snow, Blessed by Heaven and Earth This scorpion is about 1.5 meters in size and only has two colors on its body. One is a transparent color like ice, while the other is a green color. Its body has four layers stacked at the front end, each layer slightly longer than half a foot, and its head grows on the layer at the front end. Its silver-white mouthpart sparkle with a faint cold light. And on the front half of the four-layered body, there is a special kind of scale, or protrusion. They were hexagonal in shape, shimmering with an incredibly brilliant luster, like diamond-like protrusions. These protrusions are densely distributed on its front body and six slender and powerful legs. Under the reflection of the snow, it emits an unparalleled brilliant luster. It seems that at this moment it has become a light source, and countless radiances are refracted from it. Its two front claws are both one meter long, 
and the front claws are also covered with strange, diamond-like hexagonal protrusions. Only the front clip, like the mouthpiece, is a silver white with a mirror-like luster. Its eyes are more special, yellow, like two yellow diamonds set on top, also hexagonal, with a sparkling crystal yellow light, giving a feeling of sparkling treasure. And its hind body is trailing a emerald green scorpion tail. Unlike the multi-bone joints of an ordinary scorpion's long tail, there are only five joints on this long tail, each of which is a tempting emerald green. The emerald green shimmered with a vibrant radiance, with five sections of the same color. The section closest to the upper body was the widest, narrowing further back. At the end of the last section, the tail hook, also adorned with diamond particles, is raised high. At the tip, there is also a silver-white mirror-like shiny hook tip. The entire scorpion is as dazzling and dazzling as a gemstone, so beautiful that it is dazzling. Uncle Tian looked at the beautiful scorpion, but his expression did not fluctuate. Ice Emperor Yes, this beautiful scorpion is the second-ranked Ice Emperor among the three heavenly kings in the far north, a super-ferocious beast with 390,000 years of cultivation. The Ice Blue Emperor Scorpion Emperor Tian, why are you coming to my far north place instead of staying in the Star Forest? And, what exactly is going on here? The Ice Emperor looked at a stunning scene hundreds of meters away and asked. Ice Emperor, are you questioning me? Uncle Tian glanced at the Ice Emperor, but with an undisguised contempt. It seems that the famous Ice Emperor in the far north is not in his eyes. Emperor Tian, you. The clear voice of the Ice Emperor carried a suppressed anger, but there was no action taken. If someone else dared to underestimate her, with her personality, they would have torn it apart long ago. But now the situation is different. Indeed, she was very angry, but she also knew how terrifying the man in front of her was. Even if this is the far north and her home ground, she cannot be the opponent of the person in front of her. The other party's strength is much stronger than hers. However, if she had a strong personality, how could she easily accept defeat? Emperor Tian, your cultivation is indeed very high, but this is the land of the far north. There is also the Snow Emperor in the far north, and it is not a place where you can be wild. Let's wait for the Snow Emperor to come before we talk, Tian Shu said calmly. Oh, she really came. Uncle Tian raised his head and sensed an astonishing momentum in the distance, rapidly approaching. This aura is cold and carries the majestic aura of an emperor, even Uncle Tian has become more upright. Shua. In the sky, there was a flurry of snowflakes fluttering all over the sky, and a beautiful shadow slowly drifted down from the wind and snow. She has a head of pure white long hair, draped behind her head, falling straight to her feet. Her sky-blue eyes are ethereal and transparent, as if she can see through everything in the world. The luxurious and exquisite ice-blue long dress showcases a slender and flawless figure to the fullest. The snow.white skin is as crystal clear as jade, round and transparent. Her appearance is even more stunning, the most beautiful masterpiece of heaven, truly perfect and flawless. She is like a cold plum blossom in the twelfth lunar month, cold and noble, proud of snow and bullying frost. Snow Emperor Seeing the arrival of the Snow Emperor, the Ice Emperor clearly became delighted. In her opinion, since the Snow Emperor has arrived, she is also fearless of Emperor Tian. Binger. The Snow Emperor smiled slightly at the Ice Emperor and slowly looked at Uncle Tian. Beast God Emperor Heaven. Ice and Snow Emperor. The Snow Emperor and the Heavenly Uncle gazed at each other. Emperor Tian, as the guardian of the Starry Forest, why do you come to my far north land? The Snow Emperor looked solemnly at Uncle Tian, the Beast God Emperor Tian, the true top-dot-level powerhouse. Even she is inferior in cultivation. However, at this home ground in the far north, she is not afraid of the opponent much. Coming for some personal matters. Uncle Tian looked at the ice blue light shield not far away and sighed leisurely. If it were the Ice Emperor, 
he would not even bother explaining. But Snow Emperor is different. Snow Emperor is an ice and snow elf born in the far north, with a cultivation of nearly 700,000 years, and is undoubtedly the ruler of the far north. Even he cannot easily defeat the Snow Emperor in the far north. In a sense, the Snow Emperor can be considered an existence of the same level as him. Oh! The Snow Emperor looked into the distance and his beautiful eyes froze in an instant. Blessed by the far north heaven and earth. Or a human. The Snow Emperor's expression instantly became solemn as he looked at this unimaginable scene before him. How could a human be blessed by the heavens and earth in the far north? And how could Emperor Tian be related to a human? Judging from this situation, it seems quite like protecting this human child. This is simply shocking. This is the god of beasts, my goodness. He is not an ordinary human, he is a person recognized by the Lord. Uncle Tian said lightly. Dominant approval. The Snow Emperor's pupils suddenly shrank. She actually knew that in the starry forest, the true great master of the soul beast tribe was sleeping. That is the existence for which all soul beasts must be loyal. At the necessary moment, even she must obey the commands of this great master. Now that she heard Emperor Tian's words, she couldn't help but be surprised. And, he. What is he? Snow Emperor pursued. Uncle Tian remained silent and said calmly, Don't ask, knowing too much is not good for you. Does not even our Emperor have the right to know? asked the Snow Emperor. The fewer people you know, the better, said Uncle Tian. After all, the Snow Emperor is not a legitimate lineage, and there are some things he will not reveal. Upon hearing this, the Snow Emperor's exquisitely embroidered eyebrows furrowed slightly, and he looked at the ice blue light shield not far away, lost in thought. This human child is probably hiding quite a huge secret. Moreover, the blessing of the far north heaven and earth is an unprecedented sight. She is the daughter and ruler of the arctic heaven and earth. Now that Su Yu is such a special person, how could she not care if she could be favored by the far north? End of this chapter Chapter 8 Cold Ice Emperor, Original Soul Ring You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Cold Ice Emperor, Original Soul Ring The two of them stared at the ice blue light shield like this without saying much. And the originally indignant Ice Emperor also turned his gaze to the past. Yellow crystal-like eyes flickered slightly, shining with a brilliant radiance. At this moment, within the ice blue light shield, Suyu underwent a comprehensive transformation. Endless cool breath poured into his body from the center of his eyebrows. From the soul, to the meridians, to the limbs, there is a feeling of being washed. The already very superior root bone. As if it had undergone another transformation. The soul is like a long drought, greedily sucking on the cool breath, the spiritual platform is as clear as a mirror, and the mind is infinitely empty. The meridians in the body, washed by the refreshing breath, seem to be coated with a layer of ice blue light film, becoming more spacious and resilient. The impurities and filth hidden deep inside the body are all expelled from the body, and then frozen into ice shards, falling off Su Yu's body. The physical fitness has become stronger, and the physique has also become stronger. This ice blue light brought Su Yu a great opportunity. This is the baptism of the far north heaven and earth. The cool breath flowed through Su Yu's body, nourishing and baptizing from the inside out. Behind Su Yu, a towering phantom slowly appeared. This phantom is dressed in a retro ice blue imperial robe, with a hint of snowflake on top. A cold white giant dragon surrounds the entire imperial robe, with sharp fangs and ferocious claws, extremely majestic. Upon closer inspection, there are twelve white patterns on the imperial robe that perfectly complement snowflakes and dragons. Su Ying wears an ice blue crown on his head and bears twelve imperial crowns, which are also ice blue. Under the cover of the Mian imperial crown, his face is slightly blurry and cannot be seen accurately. However, the supreme imperial power was fully demonstrated. 
At the moment when the phantom appeared, Su Yu's body burst out with an extreme cold breath. Su Yu almost instinctively took off his fiery red robe, and suddenly, an icy blue light enveloped Su Yu within a few meters of his surroundings. Su Yu's hair quickly turned from black to white, until it turned completely white. The originally pitch black eyes turned into an icy blue color. In just a moment, Su Yu's temperament underwent a major transformation. Originally, Su Yu was a sunny and lively boy, but now, there is an extra chill. Buzz. Immediately after, the ice blue light in the sky converged, and within the lampshade, countless ice blue light dots surrounded Su Yu. The endless ice blue light began to merge, gradually transforming into a huge ice blue halo. The ice blue halo surrounds Su Yu, emitting rich energy fluctuations. Buzz. 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 The ice blue halo emitted a buzzing sound, and its color also began to change. The ice blue halo flickered several times, gradually turning white, then yellow again, and then a burst of flicker, turning into a mysterious purple. After turning purple, the ice blue halo flickered slightly and stopped beating. It began to rapidly shrink and then directly enveloped the phantom behind Su Yu. In Su Yu's body, the already saturated soul power finally broke through the bottleneck and entered a new level. After all of this was completed, the ice blue light that connected heaven and earth gradually dimmed. In the sky, a huge vortex slowly dissipated, and the ice blue light shield covering Su Yu's body also gradually disappeared. On Su Yu's forehead, there was a small snowflake mark added. Cold Ice Emperor. Su Yu suddenly murmured to himself like a blessing in his heart. Externally, seeing the ice blue light shield finally disappear, Tian Shu flashed and came to Su Yu's side. Are you okay? Uncle Tian asked with concern. It's okay, Uncle Tian. I feel very good now. Su Yu smiled slightly and said. This time, the benefits he gained were quite significant. The baptism of the far north heaven and earth allowed him to undergo a comprehensive transformation. Originally, his strength was around seven or eight thousand pounds, close to ten thousand pounds. But now, he estimates that his strength has broken through ten thousand pounds and increased by more than a few thousand pounds. Of course, the increase in strength is only one aspect, and the enhancement of physical fitness is comprehensive, not just about strength. Moreover, his spiritual power has also been enhanced, not to mention breaking through to the Linghai realm, but at least reaching the peak of the Lingtong realm. This harvest is not insignificant. Of course, the biggest gains are still the martial soul and soul ring. The divine bestowed martial soul, although not as mysterious as the divine bestowed martial soul, is also a first. Class Strength Not as terrifying as the Dragon God Seal, but also a powerful martial soul of first dot class in the world. During the Doe Air period, there were very few that could be compared to this martial soul. As for the Soul Ring, it is even more cherished. This Soul Ring is equivalent to Su Yu's original Soul Ring. This is a Soul Ring that can evolve along with Su Yu's growth. Similar to Tang Sanlin Silver Emperor's fifth Soul Ring, the only difference is that Su Yu's Soul Ring has a higher upper limit. After all, Tang San's original soul ring is only produced by the bloodline of the Blue Silver Emperor, and the Blue Silver Emperor is ultimately just a soul beast that lasts for 100,000 years. But Su Yu's soul ring is a heavenly gift. This soul ring, if evolved to the extreme, may not have the possibility of becoming a divine level soul ring. The current lifespan of Su Yu's soul ring is about 5,000 years. The first soul ring lasts for 5,000 years, not because of special means, but because it can truly withstand the pressure of the soul ring for 5,000 years. Su Yu, it can also be considered as a pioneer in history. The endless destiny, the heavenly gift soul ring, is it because of this. A hint of speculation flashed in Su Yu's heart, perhaps all of this was related to his so-called destiny. As long as it's okay, how is the awakening of the martial soul? Uncle Tian breathed a sigh of relief and asked. 
The awakening went smoothly, and I didn't expect it to be this kind of awakening method. My martial soul is called, Cold Ice Emperor, and has an ice attribute. Perhaps it's not just ice properties, but also extremely rare extreme ice. Just as Su Yu finished speaking, a voice rang out, and the Snow Emperor and the Ice Emperor also walked up to Su Yu. Su Yu turned around slightly, and two figures immediately caught his eye. One is a scorpion about 1.5 meters in size, resembling a combination of diamonds and jade, beautiful and exquisite. On the other hand, it was a beautiful and beautiful figure. Snow white long hair, sky blue eyes, icy skin, skin like snow, and a natural appearance that is breathtaking. Its temperament is cold and exuding a majestic and majestic aura like that of an emperor. Looking graceful, it is actually towering like a mountain. In Su Yu's impression, Tian Shu was the strongest he had ever seen, but the woman in front of him seemed not much worse than Tian Shu. The protagonist was born with dragon cloud infusion, ate many heavenly and earthly treasures, and was baptized by the extreme northern heaven and earth, as well as twin martial soul blessings. It is very reasonable to be able to withstand 5,000 years of soul rings, and I did not write it randomly, asterisk asterisk, end of this chapter. Chapter 9 Seeing the Snow Emperor, his appearance changes. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 9 Seeing the Snow Emperor, his appearance changes amazing. Yes, the first impression this woman gave Su Yu was stunning. Su Yu has also met a beautiful woman, but there is no one who can compare with the woman in front of him. Aunt Bai is also a rare beauty, but when compared to the woman in front of her, she seems to be quite overshadowed. Perfect. If Su Yu had to find a word to describe it, it would be perfect. It is only with the spiritual beauty of the world that such a perfect creation can be born. Uncle Tian, who are these two? A stunning expression flashed in Su Yu's eyes and he asked Tian Shu beside him. He can guess the identities of these two people, but there are some words that cannot be spoken from his mouth. Because under normal circumstances, he shouldn't have known them. These two are the Snow Emperor and the Ice Emperor among the three great heavenly kings of the Arctic land, and they are also the true masters of all the soul beasts in the Arctic land. The three heavenly kings of the far north. Soul beasts. Su Yu displayed curiosity perfectly. Mmm. Uncle Tian nodded and stopped speaking. Su Yu turned his head and looked at the ice and snow emperors, the ice blue emperor scorpion, and the ice sky and snow emperor in front of him. These were all super strong beasts among the top ten fierce beasts. And both of these are ultimate attributes, one is the ultimate ice, and the other is the ultimate snow, both of which are extremely powerful. In the original work, without these two characters, there would be no later emotional god Hui Yuhao. Oh, no, it's Mr. Dai Yuhao, the god of emotions. You haven't answered my emperor yet. Your martial soul is the ultimate ice, right? The snow emperor's sky blue beautiful eyes scrutinized Su Yu's body. She is still quite interested in a person chosen by the far north world. What is so special about this child? Can it please the far north heaven and earth? No, it's not just the northern heaven and earth, but also the existence that the great ruler values, and even the beast god emperor heaven has to devote himself to guarding. There must be a great mystery hidden in him. Moreover, this child always gives her an inexplicable sense of closeness. She, who has never liked humans, doesn't have much resentment towards this child. Is it because this child is similar to her and has received the blessings of the far north heaven and earth? Looking at the humanoid martial soul of the cold ice emperor behind Su Yu, the snow emperor felt that perhaps there was a reason for this. Yes, my martial soul is the ultimate ice. Su Yu did not conceal anything and spoke truthfully. In front of powerful figures like the Snow Emperor, this thing cannot be concealed. They just casually asked, but in fact, they had already noticed the clues. The Snow Emperor is the most knowledgeable about the existence of ice and snow in Dolua continent. How could she not recognize the ultimate ice? 
This martial soul is very powerful. It was given to you by the far north heaven and earth. You should make good use of it. The snow emperor gave Su Yu a deep glance and instructed him. I will. Su Yu nodded vigorously. No, you still don't understand. This martial soul is more powerful than you think. It's not as simple as the ultimate ice. You are still young now, and when you grow up, you will understand how precious the blessings of the far north heaven and earth are. The snow emperor shook his head and said. This kind of heaven and earth blessing baptism is a comprehensive baptism and a comprehensive transformation. Having experienced the blessings of heaven and earth, Suyu has the potential to break through to the limit of human dolua in the future. The explicit benefits of this blessing from heaven and earth are only a small part. What's even more precious is that it paves the way to the truly strong. It can be said that with the blessings of heaven and earth, as long as Suyu does not fall midway, his future is destined to be brilliant. The snow emperor is right, you human little doll, you are really lucky. The ice emperor couldn't help but speak, his voice as clear as a silver bell. She is really about to envy and cry. The snow emperor is a heaven and earth elf born in the far north, born with the protection of the far north heaven and earth. This is also the most important reason why it can cultivate for nearly 700,000 years along the way. Except for the snow emperor, soul beasts in other extreme northern regions do not receive such treatment. Even if it is the second pole in the far north, it does not receive the blessings of heaven and earth. If it has also received blessings from heaven and earth, it is at least confident that it can withstand two major calamities again. And not be overwhelmed by the impending 400,000 year catastrophe. God knows how heartbroken it was when it saw Su Yu, a human like child, being chosen by the far north heaven and earth. I really envy, envy, hate. Really. He he. Su Yu scratched his head and chuckled. Humph, take a look at how you are now, and you'll know how much you've changed. The ice emperor snorted and an ice mirror appeared out of thin air in front of Su Yu. Su Yu raised his head slightly and looked carefully, realizing that his image had indeed changed significantly. Snow white hair, ice blue eyes, is this really oneself? There hasn't been much change in appearance, just a change in temperament, forming a sublimation. Originally, Suyu was very good dot looking, but now he has completely transformed into a handsome and upright person. Even Suyu himself couldn't believe that the person in this mirror would be himself. This, this is. Suyu's eyes were surprised as he awakened his martial soul. How could the change be so significant? Generally speaking, every significant change in the image of an organism is a transformation. Soul beasts are like this, and so are you humans. You are now, much different from before. The snow emperor said lightly. Suyu nodded repeatedly, and now he is indeed different from his previous self. It can be said that it has become stronger by more than a little bit. Blessings from heaven and earth are indeed rare, and this martial soul is not bad either. In the future, you can cultivate this martial soul. As for the previous martial soul, don't cultivate it for now. Uncle Tian looked at Su Yu and said. The dragon god seal has a significant impact and is of higher quality. For Su Yu, it is undoubtedly more beneficial to temporarily cultivate the martial soul of the cold ice emperor. Su Yu also let out a deep agreement. The power of the dragon god in the dragon god seal cannot be exposed at will. The ice emperor is indeed a good choice at present. Surprisingly, you are still a twin martial soul. The snow emperor and the ice emperor were once again surprised. Not only the ice emperor, but also other martial souls. Although they are soul beasts, they also know what twin martial souls mean. That is the top talent among human cultivators. And what if there is an ultimate martial soul in the twin martial souls? That is definitely a ceiling level talent among humans. Moreover, according to the meaning in Emperor Tian's words, this child's first martial soul may not be under the command of the cold ice emperor. 
Otherwise, Emperor Tian wouldn't let this child cultivate the Ice Emperor first. Twin martial souls, who didn't put the strong behind. When adding soul rings in this way, you can gain more benefits. The Snow Emperor would not consider Emperor Tian to be an ignorant person. Hush. Thinking of this, even the Snow Emperor couldn't help but be shocked in his heart. What exactly is the origin of this child? End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Invitation from the Snow Emperor You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Invitation from the Snow Emperor, Twin Martial Souls, Ultimate Martial Souls, Hiss Emperor Tian, where exactly did you find such a demon from? Even if heaven and earth bless us, we will still have twin martial souls. Is this little doll the illegitimate child of the will of the world? This talent is a bit outrageous, isn't it? The Ice Emperor's eyes flickered slightly like yellow diamonds, and his tone was filled with shock. It is almost predictable that this child will definitely be the super powerhouse of the future human world. Emperor Tian, this child's talent is so strong, are you really not worried at all? The Ice Emperor couldn't help but ask. Ultimately, Su Yu is still a human. Such a terrifying talent may not even surpass Emperor Tian in the future. Is Emperor Tian really not afraid to play without it? Humans and soul beasts are not the same group of people after all. Ice Emperor, stop talking nonsense. Upon hearing this, Uncle Tian's face darkened and he scolded. He doesn't want any resentment left in Su Yu's heart because of the words of the Ice Emperor. Emperor Tian, this is good intentions. The Ice Emperor was scolded by Emperor Tiani and suddenly became dissatisfied. It kindly reminded Emperor Tian, but Emperor Tian actually gave her a look. How could this arrogant Ice Emperor not be angry in his heart? All right, Binger, the Emperor has his own sense of propriety in his heart. But the Snow Emperor could see a different charm. The relationship between the doll in front of me and Emperor Tian is not that simple. The Ice Emperor's outspokenness may have a negative impact. Humph. Uncle Tian snorted and said, This matter is over, so I won't stay any longer. You are, let's go. Oh. Su Yu responded with a nod, his gaze slightly turned again, and he couldn't help but glance at Snow Emperor. Unexpectedly, the Snow Emperor smiled at him and said, If you have time, you can come back to the far north. For the ultimate ice, I have some insights. Although Emperor Tian's strength is strong, he does not understand ice. Um, okay. Su Yu was taken aback for a moment, then quickly nodded. The Snow Emperor took the initiative to release Goodwill, and he could not refuse. Moreover, the Snow Emperor is indeed the most knowledgeable about the existence of ice and snow in today's world. With her guidance, it would definitely be very beneficial for Su Yu to cultivate the martial soul of the Cold Ice Emperor. Let's go. Tian Shu glanced at Xue Di and then hugged Su Yu, but in an instant, he disappeared without a trace. Watching the two people disappear, the Ice Emperor still felt indignant. This Emperor is really ignorant of good people. I kindly remind him that he is so ignorant and infuriating. The Ice Emperor exclaimed in anger. If it weren't for being unbeatable, it would have had a fight with Emperor Tiangan. The Emperor must have a plan in his heart. As a beast god, he is not a foolish person, let alone the presence of that great ruler, so we don't need to worry. Humph, I really want to see what kind of expression he will have when he gets out of it. The Ice Emperor snorted. Upon hearing this, the Snow Emperor smiled and shook his head, while Bing Air remained so proud and delicate. By the way, Snow Emperor, why did you invite that human doll to the far north? After all, he is a human after all. The Ice Emperor asked in confusion. For humans, it doesn't have much favorability. But he was also selected by the far north, so he can also be considered a part of the far north. And I'm also curious, what's so unique about this little guy? The Snow Emperor looked up at the azure sky, his beautiful blue eyes flickering slightly. On this side, 
Uncle Tian and Su Yu quickly returned to the original path. The far north land, even wider than the starry forest, swiftly passed by under Tian Shu's feet. In Uncle Tian's arms, Su Yu's small face remained calm, and his icy blue eyes flickered slightly. What are you thinking? Uncle Tian's voice suddenly reached Su Yu's ears. Su Yu was taken aback for a moment, then came to his senses and said, I'm thinking about the Snow Emperor. Snow Emperor. Uncle Tian seemed a bit surprised, what do you think of her? I'm wondering why she invited me to the far north. And? And what? And I think the Snow Emperor always gives me a sense of familiarity, I don't know if it's an illusion, so you whispered. A sense of familiarity. Uncle Tian raised his eyebrows, and a hint of brilliance flashed through his golden eyes. Is it, would you be willing to go to the far north again? Uncle Tian paused for a moment and then asked. Do Tian Shu think I should go? Su Yu asked. If you practice the martial soul of the Cold Ice Emperor, then I suggest you still go. The Snow Emperor is definitely the most knowledgeable person in the world about the ultimate ice. She said something very correctly, I really don't understand ice. Uncle Tian candidly admitted his shortcomings. And if you're worried that the Snow Emperor is a soul beast that will harm you, then there's no need. She won't hurt you. Moreover, even with me around, she wouldn't dare. Uncle Tian's voice was calm, but full of arrogance and domineering. It seems that this is a natural fact. Uncle Tian is domineering. Su Yu gave a thumbs up. You kid. Uncle Tian laughed and hugged Su Yu, quickly breaking through the air one after another. When uncle brought Su Yu back home that day, the sun had already set. Inside, the soul guide lamp emitted an orange glow. A graceful figure can be seen faintly. Tian Shu landed at the door, put Su Yu down, and both of them walked into the courtyard at the same time. Inside, upon hearing the commotion, Aunt Bai quickly welcomed her out. Are you back? Aunt Bai showed a gentle smile and looked at the two with gentle eyes. Ah uh ha! -huh. Su Yu nodded and responded with a smile. It's so late, are you starving? Come in quickly, Aunt Bai bought you your favorite sauce beef. Aunt Bai rubbed Su Yu's hair and led him into the room. On Uncle Tian's heel. Wow, it's so abundant. Looking at the various dishes on the table, Su Yu's eyes lit up instantly. As an authentic foodie, he can never refuse food. Then hurry up and eat. If it gets cold, it won't taste good anymore. Aunt Bai smiled and said. Hmm. Su Yu responded and the three of them took their seats. Aunt Bai picked two pieces of beef for Su Yu and also prepared two chopsticks for Uncle Tian. Uncle Tian, Aunt Bai, you should also eat. Su Yu said a word and started eating. He didn't even have lunch, he was really hungry. Seeing Su Yu eating sweet and fragrant food, Aunt Bai also showed a loving smile. Then she looked at Uncle Tian and asked, Did you gain a lot from this trip? Your son has changed so much, I'm afraid it's quite remarkable. The changes in Su Yu are too obvious, and it is not an exaggeration to say that it is a transformation. This is obviously not a simple awakening of the martial soul. It is indeed a considerable opportunity. Uncle Tian nodded slightly and then briefly explained the situation in the far north. Heaven and earth bless, heaven bestows martial souls, it's really a great opportunity. Aunt Bai's expression also became solemn. Only at their level did they understand the preciousness of heaven and earth's blessings. Thank you to my book friend Louis Fei for giving a 1000 point coin reward, thank you to my first encounter with 1000 point coins in my book, thank you to my book friend for giving a 5000 point coin reward. Thank you to my book friend for giving a 500 point coin reward of 2023082223174162020. Thank you to my book friend Bookworm Wei for giving a 9500 point coin reward. 
thank you to my book friend for giving a 309 point coin reward of 2021030110410247252 thank you to my book friend for giving a 100 point coin reward of 2022052306182409 thank you to my book friend for drawing a knife to keep sakura 5000 point coin reward Thank you to my book friend Beijing Moon Nan for giving a 500 point coin reward. Thank you all for your support. Equals carrot carrot smiley face. End of this chapter.